So there's this horse, lives on a farm in a stable, you know, usual horse things. Um, and one day he's watching TV in the barn, in you know, in the stable. Um, and he sees he sees this rock band going at him, and then they they just hamming out. Um, and he, he eyes the lead guitar, and he's like, oh man, oh, that's awesome. I wish I could play the guitar. So he he calls up the music instructor and says, uh, hey, I, I want you to teach me how to play the guitar. And the music instructor like, sure, no problem. He says, uh, but first I gotta say I, I'm a horse, right? Um, and he says, no problem, no problem. We got technology. We can get you to play the guitar. Horse is like, sweet. Horse learns to play the guitar. Months, months later, he comes back, uh, jamming the guitar proper. You know, he's, he's like, okay, cool. Um, uh, and he calls it. He calls up his friend the chicken. He's like. Hey man, check check this cool thing I can do. So he plays the guitar, shows the the video where that inspired him. And the chicken's like looking at the video. The chicken's like, oh shit, man, I wish I could play the drums. Chicken calls up a music uh, a, a music teacher says, I want you to teach me how to play the drums. Uh, music teacher's like, yeah, sure, no problem, I can do that. Says, uh, I just gotta let you know the uh, I'm a chicken. The music teacher's cool. We got technology. Don't stress about that. So chicken learns some months, months, months. Chicken's playing the drums. Like, oh, Shit, yeah, that's cool. Um, they they invite their friend Cow over to, to come check out their, their sweet jamming with the guitar and the drums, and uh, uh, and the cow like w watches them, watches this video. And says, Man, I really wish I could play the bass guitar. So the cow calls up a music um, uh, a music teacher. He's like, I really want to learn how to play the bass guitar. And he says, No problem. He says, uh, but first I gotta let you know, I'm a cow. There's no problem, no problem. Technology will teach you. So now another couple months go by and all of them are jamming. They got this fucking kick-ass band. So they decide to go to a label, see if they can get themselves signed. A label's like, oh shit, a, a horse, a chicken, a cow, play the guitar and uh, drums and bass guitar. Yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll pick you up. So then they start touring. And they're touring for a while and they're doing well and their career's kicking off. It's just fucking fantastic. Um, and then one day they're on tour with their manager um, and the band and horse gets a call. His mother's sick. She's, she's in hospital. It's, it's looking bad. So he, he hops on a plane, flies back home, goes to goes to see his mother in the hospital. But she makes a miraculous recovery. Fantastic. She's, she's all good. Unfortunately, while he was flying home, his, uh, his chicken buddy, his cow buddy, and his manager all died in a bus crash. Dead. And he, he's, he's, he's distraught. His music if career is over. If you send the horse to a bar, I'm going to murder you. <laughs> so the horse walks into a bar, the bartender asks, why the long face? face. Fuck's sake. <laughs> <laughs> so I told this one to my dad, and we got to that bit, and he goes, Please don't tell me you've just told me this entire joke, and I delivered a punchline, and his face dropped. <laughs> well, well, I mean, uh, Jester, have you heard the story of the news? Which news? So the news are these weird creatures that live by the side of the road, okay? Um. So there's uh, four news. There's a mommy news, a daddy news, a uh, brother news, and a baby news. Um, so one day, you know, chilling in the South African quarantine, um, father news is like, okay, I have to, you know, go out and get some food, provide for the family. So he climbs out of his hole, uh, takes a look across the road. Ah, look, there's some food on the other side. Nice apple tree gonna go there checks the road sees no one cool starts crossing the road and BAM gets hit by a car and it's like okay damn well after a few hours the mother news is like you know the, he's been gone a while um, okay brother news do you take care of the baby news I'm gonna I'm gonna go uh, try and find your father and get some food so the mother news is like, okay, cool, climbs out of her hole, uh, sees the apple tree across the way, and it's like, okay, cool, gonna get some food. There's something in the road up ahead, we'll, we'll find out. Looks on either side of the road, doesn't see any cars coming, starts crossing the road, and bam, gets hit by a car. Ah. So then, after a few more hours, brother news is busy sitting there, getting a bit worried, the, the baby news is crying, and he's like, oh, no, like, you know, he's going to go out, look for some uh, food, try and find the parents. So, baby news, he can just stay here, he'll be fine. He's in his little high chair, he'll be great. So, he climbs out of his hole, sees the apple tree and two little blobs in the road. Break one second. Uh, Acorn Red. Passing Romeo 4. Uh sees two blobs in the road, it's like, okay, well, the apple tree's on the other side, 
looks right, looks left, doesn't see a car, starts crossing the road, and bam, hit and killed by a car. The Baby News now, Baby News is a little bit smarter than you'd think. Um, climbs out of his high chair, and he's like, well, where is everyone? And he's hungry. So he crawls out of the hole, crawls up to the road, and looks left, looks right, doesn't see anything, and starts crawling across the road, and bam, gets hit by a car and dies. Uh, that's the end of the news, and now for the weather. Oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Do I pull out the um, bus driver one? Uh, yes. Bus driver one is great. The bus driver one about the angel. I know angel? the bus driver one. Okay. They all think of a different one. Okay. Right, my time to shine. Um, yeah, so, there's a bus conductor on the back of the bus. You know the kind of typical British ones? Oh. And, uh... He's uh, seen this little old lady just about to get on his bus, but just before he gets there, he rings the bell. So the bus drives off, and the old lady chases after. Um, she's chasing, she's chasing, and um, she collapses. She's had a heart attack. She's died. There's a full inquiry. Uh, he's found guilty for murder. They sentence him to death on the electric chair. They strap him in, and they say, um, "Do you have any last requests?" And he goes, um, "Yeah, I'd really like a banana." They're like, "Okay." Now that's your last request, they give him banana, he eats it, they strap him in, they shock him. Somehow, the fucker survives. So, he goes back out into the general public, and, uh, yeah, he somehow gets his job back as a bus conductor. And a couple of months go by, and he's, uh, on the back of this bus, and he sees this little old man coming up, and he's like, hmm, ding ding. Bus drives off, old man chases after, collapses on the floor, he's had a heart attack, another inquiry. Sentence for murder. An electric chair. Any last requests? Yeah, I'd really like a banana. So uh, they give him banana, he eats it. Somehow he survives, and as the law states, if he survives, you're set free. So he's set free back in the general public. Now somehow, he's gone and got his job back as a bus conductor. He's sat on the back of the bus, waiting. All the people are getting on. There's this little old lady coming up again. But did I? Ding ding. Bus drives off. Old lady chases after. Claps on the floor. She had a heart attack. Sentenced to murder. Sentenced to the chair. Gets put in the chair. Any last requests? Yeah, I'd really like a banana. And it's the same executioner the last two times. And he just breaks. Like, what is it with these bananas? Did they give you, like, superhuman strength or something? And he goes, no, it's just because I'm a bad conductor. Ah. Oh. <laughs> That guy, we've uh, killed off Jester. Yeah. <laughs> He's died. He's gone. <laughs> uh, we just hear a pistol shot from his room. 